السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Blessings to all of you So there is two things that are commonly very difficult for people to understand and the first thing is what they want and the other thing is their will So why is there such a confusion to find out in our life what we really want? Yeah. It is important to understand that because we can only understand it if we understand about also our will. Now, we said it many times that we are born here in a three-dimensional um way yeah we are in the third dimension let's say you know so but what happens is that we actually live in a two-dimensional way first and it's the horizontal right and in that level we are only busy with our security with our fears, with our drama, and we react and think that our will is independent because we identify it with our wishes and with our need for security and our need for survival, our need for love, our need for attention, and so on and so on. Yeah. So in the second dimension, in this dimension, that are only two forces that are permanently running against each other. Yeah. In that dimension, we cannot find peace. We cannot find really a conclusion about our life, what is happening here. And we cannot find what we want. Because to know what we want, we have to go beyond the pattern of reaction out of fear or out of the need of security or out of the need of love and this kind of things. And the only way to do that is that we need to project our will to a higher point, and that would be the third dimension, this reflects the collective, this reflects nature, this reflects all the spiritual path. And in order to do so, we need a discipline. Yeah. And there is this nice word in English language that is the disciple, right? And the disciple is somebody that carries a discipline. And when someone carries a discipline continuously, it doesn't matter what kind of discipline, it will do something good in your life. Yeah, Whatever you do regular, it will do something good in your life. And this is why there is a hadith that says, and Allah loves his servants to do something regular. right? And in our tradition, in the Sufi tradition, Everything is based on repetitions, on being disciplined, on being um, moving basically like a clock. You know? We imitate a cosmic situation without knowing it, because all the planets around us are moving like a clockwork. You know? They keep their orbits, they keep their movements, they keep everything in such a high precision that we can do even graphical patterns in the way they move. And they keep them in millions and billions of years. Right? And because they keep this precision, everything works in our galaxy, in our Earth, and if any one of them would change it, there would be a big chaos in our Earth, right? 
So to have a regular life yeah, is, of course, for the ego, a very boring life, a very unattractive life. But if you look at the lifestyle of masters, of big masters, they live like a clockwork. No? You can calculate them perfectly where they will be in which time. Everything is also transparent in their life. Everyone knows they are here, they do this, and they always do the same thing wherever they are. Yeah. They get up in the morning, they do their practicings, and it doesn't actually depend on which religious path. They all do more or less the same. Yeah. So we experience an aspect of this in our working world that we have a discipline in working, but we don't know, we don't call it discipline because it doesn't appear to us as a discipline, as it is usually uh, a thing we keep because we need to survive, we need to be secure, we have our wishes and they can be attained, achieved through this working situation. Now, as long as we are not going to the third dimension, we cannot experience our will. Our will is free from need. Only then we can really experience the will and the power of the will. And when we come to this point, we come also in this area where we are able to manifest whatever we want as the will is a divine will. We are Khalifa Tullah. So whatever the Khalifa also wants, it is going to happen. But in order to make it happen, you need to know what you want. You need to know exactly what you want. And that is usually something which is almost impossible to know it if you live a horizontal life. Then you will be banged from one wish to the next wish, from one need to the next need, and you can never focus really on something. When we practice a discipline that is not attached to this world, yeah, a discipline of prayers, a discipline of meditation, a discipline of mantra, of zikr, and we keep it, that will step by step bring us in the area of the will. And so in our tradition we call this the people of determination. You have to become determined. We have to be determined no matter what happens in your life. You are sad, you are unhappy, you are frustrated. You are envy, you are lustful, whatever there is, but you keep a certain discipline. And finally, this will enable you to come out of the gravity of this two-dimensional life. So find for yourself a hook in this third dimension. Look for something that attracts you in this way and that brings you in connection with your higher self, with your real will. No. More than ever, we are in need of that. And it will happen anyway, because this is where we are going to go now. We have to go up. There is no other way for us. And it is already written but as we don't know the time of it, we can't say when it is going to happen. But it is written already in the Book of Love that it is set and we have perfected the path on you. They speak to the Prophet which means it is already done. Yeah. It is perfected, it is made. And this should give us a great comfort. So whoever moves 
in this way, in this higher intention, will have a ticket for what is going to happen. Thank you very much. May Allah bless all of you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.